question like, I, I understand how you know what voice actors are saying all the time, the worst thing you do is drink a big glass of milk. But on the flip side, I remember seeing the you know, making of Lunar, the fortune designs, they gave, they gave me the anime cutscenes, and one of the uh, villains, he's coughing, he's hacking, and for effect, the actor purposely did drink a bunch of milk. Is there ever times he just says like that? Yeah. Yes. No, I just I have a good answer to this. When I was voicing Goten, um, I was notorious for bringing in the little balls of lemon juice um, because I, it was so hard for me to keep that gravel for such a long period of time that I would um, actually drink the lemon juice straight to help keep uh, gravel. I think you all use yeah. food, you know, or, or water. Or soda. <laughs> hey, Vic. Yeah. Wendy doesn't know the donut story. Oh, Lord have mercy. But you're telling it to Wendy. You love you Wendy. Love you guys know this, Diane. This is the best example of using food. You know, it's actually, on the, it's actually on the extras of, for the Full Metal Movie DVD. Um, there was an episode where Ed got punched in the face, and, and his mouth swelled up, his cheeks swelled up. And so wanting to make it, wanting to approximate that sound of that swelling, I asked Colleen, who was directing that episode, if I could run it see if I could find something in the vending machine to use to stuff in there. And so I went and, and found what I thought would, would be perfect. A little powdered sugar donuts, a little pack of six, right? They're just the right size, uh, fit right in this cheek, you know, and they're puffy and kind of soft. And so I went and bought them and I threw one in there and started recording. And, and uh, what you guys may or may not know is as soon as you do a line, uh, you kind of stand there. And you wait while the engineer is moving the line around and making sure it fits and the, ma the mouth flaps and stuff. Well, another thing, usually people when they eat donuts, they actually chew them and eat them. <laughs> they don't actually keep them stored like a squirrel in their cheek. And, uh, and it started decomposing very quickly, surprisingly so. I mean, to the point where it was like dribbling out the corner of my mouth. Like, because I was trying to hold it, you know, you try to pull your muscle to hold it in place so you could do the lines. And it got to be so gross. And I just turned around and spit it out and made it pink up. But it was that way for quite a while. So I had to take donut you know, number two of six and put it in there and start all over again. So it was really sick. And for a long time, I didn't want to eat donuts anymore. And once you start that decision, you can't go back. Oh, yeah, exactly. And you know, when you do it, you don't even think about how long you're going to have to do it. What's, what the repercussions are going to be. You're just like, this is a great idea. And you do it, you know, this was a bad idea. It's <laughs> sure I had to do it, in, now that you're talking about it, you do it in, in host club. Uh, how do we eat cookies? How do we eat crab? Just talking with food in her mouth. I'm like, okay, cool, cookies. Uh, I've got this granola bar. This would be awesome. And then you just can't talk. Your mouth doesn't work the same. You're spitting food everywhere. You're trying to figure out where can I put it so I can still say it. But it really does sound different to not have food in your mouth and try to imitate the sound of speaking <laughs> while eating. Yeah. Uh, and there are outtakes uh, of me doing the granola bar thing and the candy bar thing. Just be like, I can't talk with a candy bar in my mouth. That's what it sounds like. I'm teasing you. Ah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, it's fun to do stuff like that. And not donuts, but cookies. <laughs> <laughs>